Minnesota's top law enforcement officer is investigating two Minneapolis businesses that see repeated gun violence. Attorney General Keith Ellison announcing earlier today an investigation into Merwin Liquors and Winter Gas Station. And now, only hours after the probe was announced, one of those businesses says it has plans to beef up security. Our Courtney Godfrey joining us live from Minneapolis with Merwin Liquors' new plan to curb crime outside its front door. Courtney? Yeah, as you mentioned, Randy, uh, uh, hours after the AG announced it was looking into whether these businesses were turning a blind eye to rampant crime, Merwin Liquors announced it was hiring local violence interrupters to work security. Community members criticizing that it took too long. It's long been a troubled intersection, West Broadway and North Lindale Avenue, and two of the businesses here for years have been seen as a magnet for gun violence. We are at a place now where the violence is continuing to escalate, while at the same time, the owners of the two businesses, the liquor store and the gas station, they seem uninterested in doing anything more than just making money. In recent weeks, eight people have been shot in two separate shootings near Merwin Liquors and Winter Gas Station. Today, the Attorney General's office, in conjunction with the city of Minneapolis, announcing an investigation into the businesses to essentially look at whether they're doing enough to deter crime and obey public nuisance law. We are looking at every possible avenue to keep our communities fit safe. Merwin Licker responding to the news by announcing a partnership with Northside Community Group, We Push for Peace, saying they'll assume all staffing, security, and community engagement responsibilities at the store, as well as maintain an office presence within the building. Both the business and the city criticize for not acting sooner, with the city maintaining that it doesn't possess emergency closure powers, but that a coalition launched in 2019 has been working with various stakeholders towards a resolution. Any support to create safety on that corner is definitely welcomed. Uh, and I'm just, you know, looking forward to whatever kind of conversations this uh, this generates. When questioned as to why they didn't act sooner, Merwin Liquor said they used to hire off duty MPD officers to work security outside. But after George Floyd, MPD told them those officers were no longer available. Reporting live in Minneapolis tonight, Courtney Godfrey. Fox 9. All right. Thanks, Courtney. Well, let's take